The skeletal system is the framework of bones in our body that gives it shape and support. An adult human being has 206 bones. Bones are also made up of cells. The skeletal system consists of the skull, the spine or the backbone, the rib cage, and the upper and lower limbs. The rib cage protects the heart and the lungs. We have a pair of upper limbs or arms and lower limbs or legs. The arms have long bones such as humerus, radius, and the ulna. Movable joints. The joints that allow flexible movement of the bones are called movable joints. Hinge joints. These are found in the knee, elbow, fingers, and toes. Like the hinge of a door, the hinge joints allow movement in only two directions, forward and backwards. Gliding joints. These are found in the wrist and the ankle. They allow flat bones to slide over each other. Muscles are of different types. Voluntary muscles. Our brain can control the movements of these muscles. Hence, they are called voluntary muscles. Examples. Muscles of hands and legs. Involuntary muscles. There are some muscles whose movements are not controlled by us. These muscles work automatically all the time. Examples. Muscles of lungs, kidneys and blood vessels. The muscles of the heart are called cardiac muscles. They are also involuntary muscles and work continuously throughout our life. The nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. The nervous system controls the actions of all parts of our body. Brain is the main organ that controls the nervous system. Nerves carry messages from the sense organs to the brain and the brain commands the body parts to react suitably. The nerves again carry back these messages from the brain to the body parts. The brain has three main parts, cerebrum, cerebellum and medulla oblongata. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. The cerebrum is the thinking part of the brain. It controls our memory, thoughts, intelligence and learning. It also controls our voluntary muscles. The cerebellum is located below the cerebrum. The cerebellum controls the movement of muscles and helps to keep our body in an upright position. The medulla oblongata is the smallest part of the brain. The medulla oblongata connects the lower part of the brain to the spinal cord. Many nerve cells or neurons join together to form a single nerve. Nerves carry messages to and from the brain. There are three types of nerves. Sensory nerves, motor nerves and mixed nerves. Sensory nerves carry messages from different parts of the body to the brain. For example, from the sense organs to the spinal cord and then to the brain. Motor nerves carry messages from the brain to the other parts of the body. Mixed nerves work like two-way systems. That is, they can carry messages to and from the brain. 